What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be looking at how we can set up Windows to allow Windows to run specific programs only. Now that's going to be useful if you want to set up say uh, a, an, an operating system in an office where you only want to allow that person to run certain applications and then restrict everything else on the computer. This is great if you don't want them going into control panel and into uh, the Windows directory or rooting around the computer at all. You can lock it completely down by doing this method. It's really useful uh, for that sort of environment. Now you, I'm pretty sure that you can think of other uses for it. Now, now, there is a downfall side you need to have uh, Windows Pro uh, and above you can't have anything below that because you won't have uh, a group policy editor installed on that uh, machine there okay it comes built into the actual operating system now we're using uh, Windows 8.1 operating system here I will be doing more videos on Windows 10 this also works on Windows 10 as well and uh, you can see me doing some more Windows 10 videos real soon so anyway let's get started with this one so what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to the bottom icon here right click on this and then we're going to go to uh, run and then we're going to put in here GP edit dot MSC and then click OK and this will open up the group policy editor now once we've got the group policy editor up let me just open this up a bit okay so now we've got our group policy editor open now what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to where it says uh, user configuration okay and then we're going to go to where it says uh, administrative uh, templates come down here and then we're going to go down to where it says system now on the right hand pane here we want to come down to where it says run only specific windows applications this is really important we're going to click on this one now be careful when you're messing around with this because it can um, cause the system not to run properly and lock yourself out of certain areas so you need to set this up really uh, properly it's going to take a bit of time and it does get a bit uh, difficult if you don't know what you're doing so what we're going to do here is going to show you some simple steps to take okay to get around the system so once you click on enable here you can click on show and then this will give you a little window that pops up now this little window is going to give you the value inside here you need to put the value of the program that you want to run okay allow to run so anything that's not in this list will not run on this system you will get an error okay so let me just show you exactly what that is so for argument's sake if you went down to here to say click on this and input notepad exe now you can find these out when you explore okay for these so you click on that and then that will allow notepad to run now when we click apply and okay this will restrict anything else now what I'd advise you to do before you do that is get all your files ready okay so you can go into uh, say file explorer here and you can also go into uh, C Drive and set all this up how you want so you might want to say allow 7-zip to run and uh, there's the actual file there so you can right click uh, rename and copy this thing you need the executable part as well now if you can if you don't know how to see the .exe all you need to do here is go to view and then come to options here and then change folder and search options click on that and then go view and then take the tick out of hide extensions for known file types that will allow you to see the extensions now once you've got that done what you can do now is come back in here and set this up just double click on this and we can right click and paste that in there and that's another one done so all you need to do now is just keep continually go around until you find all the ones that you want to add in okay now this will take you a bit of time but obviously uh, when you're trying to restrict certain um, files to be opened and closed then obviously you know exactly what you want to do here so for instance if you was going inside here you'd get GIMP on there as well and stuff like that um, depends on what you want to do so for instance if you wanted GIMP you can put this extension here we're going to leave that one out just to give you an example so let me just show you this quick example here so we've got two here notepad and this one here so far I'm going to apply that and okay now that's going to uh, completely lock this system down give it time to uh, populate that 
Now, what happens is if you try to click on stuff, so for instance, if I try to click on malware bytes now, you will get this restrictions, okay? It will block everything else from running on the system, and that's how you can uh, restrict uh, applications from running. So no matter what you do here, if you try to click on these and they've been not added to that list, they will be restricted. It's pretty simple, and it's a great way of blocking stuff. Now, obviously, um, we did put in Notepad, so if I went here and went into Run, you will see here the run box will open and we can now um, put in here notepad.exe click OK and that will open up notepad now if I try to go into here and uh, go to file explorer you will see will be restricted and it will be the same thing if I go into control panel try to get into control panel will be restricted and that's because we haven't added those into that uh, policy that we need to set that up so it allows to get in there now what you could do um, let me just open this back up now if you wanted to explore for argument's sake file explorer see so that would be um, where we go into here and we'd click on the new one and we could now put in say explorer.exe click OK apply and OK and then come back down to here and this will allow us to now explore the system as you can see here now you obviously have to add in exactly what you want uh, to allow that to go now obviously if I try to get into control panel still it would still be blocked and also task manager and all those as well will be blocked but what you can do as I said is you can come to file explorer here you can then go into the windows directory and find all the programs that you want to allow to run and then that would allow that to run as I said they're like reg edit reg edit there and uh, a few other things you can add in there control panel and stuff like that get all those set up it does take a bit of time uh, but it's well worth doing if you want to lock that system down okay so anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk I hope these videos help you out guys if you enjoyed them then hit that like button it really does help me out and also if you don't enjoy them you can always hit the dislike button if you've got any comments on it or any uh, points that you want to make out then you can also add those in the comments section below and uh, if you also want to be subscribed to my channel to get all the latest videos when I upload them then hit that subscribe button and also if you've got problems with your computers or you just want to join the community and have a chat then the best place to get hold of me is on my forums that is on the screen right now you can also join my uh, fan page on Facebook uh, by hitting the uh, like button there and joining that that's free to do as well and you can get in contact with me over there also on Twitter as well anyway uh, take it easy have a great weekend and I shall see you again with some Windows 10 tutorials so thanks again bye for now